Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use RSpy in games. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to find a game that looks targetable. These games usually have very bright thumbnails like simulator games and things like that. I'm thinking about some of those slap tower games, maybe like uh, slapping tower. Whoa, slipping tower, whoa. Okay, let's try this one. How I do it is I attach, execute, and then I type into infinite yield, R spy. Okay, let's get started. So basically, whenever you do or like trigger something, it'll show up in the this little box right here. Let me just demonstrate. So when I slap this guy, it triggered this little event thing. And sometimes, if you're in a game that's badly coded enough, you can do stuff like like slapping them multiple times. You see that? That guy that I slapped before, he's getting slapped a gazillion times now. You can click on run code to run the event again. And this is very funny to troll with, and this is how a bunch of script makers make their scripts. Okay, I slapped you once, but now I can just... <laughs> uh, remote Spy is so great. And that's just one of the uses. You can go into like, okay, let's say, Clicker. About all of these games have an auto-clicker, but let's just pretend that they don't have an auto-clicker, okay? Let's just like, roleplay for a second, as if they don't have an auto-clicker. Like, they have it right there, but... Let's just- what the hell? <laughs> yeah, this guy's exploiting too, I think. Is he? I can't really tell, actually. Anyways. So, if I execute RSpy, and I click on it, ooh, clicked remote. I wonder if I can just- and I can spam this as fast as I want. Most of these games have like a limit. Actually, this game doesn't seem to have one. But anyways, if you do copy script, and this is how you do a loop, I'm gonna do wow, wait, and then you can put the time in here, but if you leave it blank, it just does it every frame, and then wow, wait, do, and then end. And now, I just get as many clicks as I want, and you can do that, like, no, whoa, now auto buys it. Remote Spy is very useful for making stuff like auto farms, stuff like that. That's basically how you use it. I mean, uh, I could show more ways to use it, but, uh, two likes and I'll make a part two. Happy scripting!